Why are people addicted to sex? I mean, really, they're addicted? That's our topic today. I'm gonna help you sort through, is it sex addiction? Why would that happen? Well, if you haven't subscribed, you know we have a lot of stuff on this topic for sure. I'm the president of the American Association for Sex Addiction Therapy, so I'm the most qualified person to answer this question. Put your question in the box. If you haven't subscribed, you know how to click that button and you'll get notified on things that we do. You know, why is someone sex addicted? Now, just heart to heart, I'm gonna tell you, I have sat across my chair for the last almost 40 years and I've answered this question. A man or woman comes into my office, they've been crying out to God, they've been crying in their closet, they've been telling themselves they're gonna stop, they can't stop, they don't stop, they do it again, they lost their marriage, they lost their job, and like Dr. Weiss, like, why am I doing this? Like, what is driving this? Why, why can't I stop? I want to stop. Okay, whether they're a pastor or a priest or a medicine man or, you know, just a regular blue collar guy. It's like, hey, I just like to stop this. Why am I addicted? Well, I'm going to give you six solid reasons as to why you're addicted. And you might have any of these. And you want to get help based on what you got. The number one reason, and these aren't in any order, the first reason is neurological addiction. This neurological addiction is real. When you have a sexual release, you get the highest level of endogenous opiates, hits the prefrontal cortex of your brain, and boom, you get something way stronger than heroin hitting your system, and you literally are attaching to whatever you're looking at. Well, if you're 12, 13, 14 years old, you're probably looking at pornography, and you attach to pornography. You, tap to, um, you attach to object relationship sex, and you have this thousands of times, sometimes before your first sexual encounter. And even when you're having sex with a real person, you go to fantasy world because you're attached to another object, not a person. And so you're disconnected during sex, and you get addicted. Your sexual template is hijacked to object sex. Okay, that's one reason. The second reason uh, is our psychological reasons. These are, can be you were neglected as a kid, you didn't get a lot of affection, you were neglected, you were physically abused, you were, um, had some kind of trauma go on in your life. You know, those kind of, uh, that kind of deprivation led you to look for another world that would love you, that would want you, that would care for you, that would be there for you, available whenever you wanted. And so you found the fantasy world and you connected that to pornography and, and, and masturbation and those chemicals attached in that way and you were meeting a psychological need to be wanted, powerful, strong, beautiful, handsome, courageous, whatever it was, dominated, dominating, whatever that was that you were meeting in your soul, you got met in that way and it became addictive chemically in that process. Number three, sexual abuse. Most, by far, 80 plus percent of sex addicts, male or female, have experienced sexual trauma. Now, not everyone who experienced sexual trauma is going to be a sex addict, but 80 plus percent of the sex addicts are going to be someone who experienced sexual trauma. Now, this person can be in a situation where they're actually repeating the trauma, either as the victim or the perpetrator, and they're, con and they're addicted to that particular uh, type of person or that kind of experience. And the sexual trauma sex addict is, is trying to resolve the sexual abuse. And so they're going to have to work on that. And with any of these causes, you can call my office, 719-278-3708, and you can get help. They can tell you in your first session what type of sex act you are and what you're gonna to need to do to get better. I'm just explaining the why right now, but there's a lot of hows in many of the YouTube videos and in the materials that we offer. The Final Freedom covers the six types of sex addiction and what to do about it. So you can have that and there's several others. The, the fourth reason, okay, is the intimacy anorexia sex addict. Now this one's a little different. Intimacy anorexia is the active withholding of spiritual, emotional, and sexual intimacy from your spouse or your partner and still having a sexual addiction. So they withhold sex inside the relationship, but they will act out with others or with themselves constantly. And so they have to heal both the intimacy anorexia and the sexual addiction. And so there's that. The next type is spiritual. They're looking for God in all the wrong places and they're trying to fill this unconditional need, uh, unconditional love need that only can be met by a relationship with God. And when they find God, they're done. Now, if you've already found God and you're still addicted, that's not why you're a sex addict. You have to go through the biological, the psychological, the other things we've talked about. 
And lastly, you can have a chemical disorder, depression, manic depression, bipolar. And as an early adolescent, you found that when you masturbated or did pornography and masturbated or sex, that it would help your brain. And you became addicted because it was balancing your brain. And that's another way. So there's several paths to the why. Now recovery is something that you need to consider. If you are a partner of a sex act, I would definitely go to partnerbetrayaltrauma.org because our research shows that you've been significantly uh, impacted. PTSD, uh, depression, self-esteem, sexual self-esteem. You're not yourself. Get help, okay? You can call my office. We have a lot of people who are qualified to help you. And this is important that you get intelligent help. There's a lot of people out there who say they treat sex addiction. I've personally uh, went on Google and looked at people that were saying they treat sex addiction in major cities. And I'd go four, five, six pages deep before anyone had any certification or legitimate training. Now, if you go to uh, call our office, we can connect, connect you with people who do phone counseling, who are certified, who've gone through the training, they use the model that we're talking about right now and they can help you quickly. Because there's three recoveries. There's the addict, the spouse, and the marriage, if you're in a marriage or a significant relationship. And they all can heal together. Well, you, if you're a sex addict, you know you are. You tried to stop and you can't. You have consequences you keep using. You've lied about it, hidden about it, all that stuff. I've been sober for now 40 years. No masturbation, no porn, no sex outside of marriage. You can be free. I've helped thousands of men and women get free. We do intensives in our office, and we also have a neuromodulation, which can help your brain to reset if you've been, uh, if you've hurt yourself in that way. Uh, people who have uh, anxiety, who have depression, who have other issues, but addiction itself, or if you're a partner of a sex addict, you definitely want to do the neuromodulation. It helps with trauma so well. So there's things you can do. You can do phone counseling. You can do intensives. You can get help. If we can help you, we want to help you. 719-278-3708.